my friends. I'm out here with uh, uh, Geo Ben Sr. and Geo Ben Jr. And I'm just cleaning up the backyard. You can see the plumeria uh, trees are starting to uh, lose their leaves. They're still doing a little blooming. You're still seeing a little bloom here and there. And uh, which is surprising for the end of August. I've normally lost them uh, a couple months before that. You usually, uh, w once the leaves start turning yellow, you don't see blooms anymore. But I seem to be getting an extension of the season for blooming. But as you can see, these leaves, this is from um, uh, Rick Cutgrass on Monday. And this is uh, 48 hours later. Uh, they're just, you know, dropping like mad. Uh, the um, cranberry hibiscus is back behind there and it seems to just be going wild. It needs to be it needs to be trimmed back and controlled. I think I'll take some of those leaves, uh, wash them and then uh, dehydrate them and turn them into powder so that I can have tea. But what I wanted to show you in uh, Geo Ben Senior is that I am just pulling some of the finished almost finished look out uh, it had really it was about half full and I, I I turned it and turned it and turned it and then all of the, I, then I just kind of let it go um, and so as you can see it has really sunk down and it's really gone into uh, really a, a nice fine castings and uh, let me pull this over a little more towards the shade it's very heavy I will tell you that and there were you can just see there's some, still some twigs and sticks. It's very, very moist. Um, I was finding with each one, I was finding uh, worms. And um, let me see. Let's see if we can find any big boys. They were earthworms. They're not. Um, they're not composting worms. Oop, just saw one, just went by one. There's one. Oops, sorry, guy. He's not too big. There's that other big one. There's another one. When I was a little girl, I was so afraid to touch a worm, I thought it would just be... And by little girl, I mean... Let's see, not, uh, until I was 57, 59, excuse me, and I I got my first taste of worms. Not really literally taste, but uh, I started raising worms, and I thought, gee, they're not as creepy as I thought they were. But um, it was uh, uh, Rick over at Gardening with Barchuk and, who said, <clears throat> take a little of your finished castings and put them in with your unfinished or in, finished compost and put it in with the unfinished oh there's a nice worm you know there's a nice boy pretty whoops oh where am I going where am I going <laughs> He would be a good fishing worm, wouldn't he? But I wouldn't, wouldn't want any of my babies to go fishing. But what I am doing is I'm putting it in with, uh, with Junior. And Junior, I'm still adding to Junior. As you can see, this is, we just cut some shrubs. There's some sticks. And I just put this through and I turned it so this won't be ready until oh I don't know spring I guess something like that but what I am going to do is um, uh, try to lift this hang on a sec there we go lift it and add it to my you guys know that I already I've already turned this from the bottom up. 
So all I'm going to do is just spread this over the top and let the worms just go head down. That side is the side that I did the potato experiment and that I got absolutely zilch on. But I turned it over and the compost looks really nice. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm just going to pull out this divider and have a big junior or what. But uh, I was thinking about actually emptying this one senior and actually moving it somewhere else. I'm not sure where I'm going to move it, but uh, this is kind of not, uh, not exactly a convenient place with the leaves falling in it constantly. So uh, anyway, just a, just a little update on what's going on in the backyard. It's it's kind of a clean up, clean up. Uh, you know, end of end of August. Excuse me, I'm wiping a sweat from my eyes. It's just incredible. Um, this is a penta. Would you believe this is just one little plant that I didn't plant? It. Uh, am I getting? hazy here. I don't know why the camera's going kaflooey kaflooey on me. Let me try something. There. Um, it's it's real hot. Uh, I don't think it's hit 90 yet, but it's, it's real close to it. And the humidity is in the probably high 80s. Uh, another leaf just fell on me. So uh, anyway, I'm trying to, I'm trying to weed uh, Juicy Fruit Island and get some control back on it before I have to I think I'm going to trim these um, Moringa trees uh, back to a, a, a manageable level. Uh, the whole backyard has just gotten really kind of overgrown and uh, taking off like a taking off like a shot. But anyway, this is a, this is a volunteer. Uh, so is the one the red one at the end. Uh, can you see that one? That's a volunteer as well. And you can see how big this thing is. I, pentas seem to do really well in, in my yard. I'll swing you over and show you three that I actually did plant. This is where Rick built the Hugo culture. And there's all sorts of branches uh, up to about three, four inches uh, down at the base of that. It looked like he was uh, burying a small person uh, and had it. It's about three by five or six and probably about two feet deep, maybe somewhere in that range. And then we filled it with, or he filled it with uh, branches, um, small logs, that sort of thing. And then we put in... Uh, smaller branches and twigs and leaves and grass clippings and then filled it up and then I planted just a few little uh, two inch um, volunteer pentas that came and I can see that the sweet potatoes have just like almost taken it over so uh, this is sweet potato vine so it'll be interesting to see when I start digging all of this up what's actually I'm going to get to harvest. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's sunny in Florida. <laughs> I, I, would, I would take you over here and go, yes, it's sunny in Florida, but you would already know that. Uh, take care, everybody. I hope you all have a great day. Come back and see me again real soon. Bye-bye.